Hi. If you like online videos about trying to free up your seized engine, you're going to love this one. Come on inside, I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way. So, my uncle's had this outboard for years, and this is the first time we've ever had any problems with it. According to him, humidity locked it up over the winter. Me and my uncle looked everywhere online for help to try and get this thing running. It seems that EngineRelease.com is the only website that takes saving your engine seriously. It seems that more engines are lost every year due to poor storage conditions than any other reason. So, these guys say that if you've had an internal failure or lack of lube oil, there's nothing in a can that's going to save your engine. My uncle ordered a couple of these engine release kits online to see how this stuff works. He also asked me to do the treatment for him and set up the tools for me. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not even really a mechanical guy, but I took a long look at the how-to instructions for saving this engine. The engine release guys have a lot of instructions on their website for saving almost any type of engine, from your garden tiller to your marine diesel. Alright, let's get the show on the road. I'm going to take the top off here. All you need is a socket, a ratchet, and an impact gun for later to shake things loose. Alright, now to get these plugs out. One, two, one. So, the instructions say that your cylinders have to be vertical while doing the treatment to get your best results. Okay, so I got my engine blocked up here to keep the cylinders vertical. And now, I'm going to inject one ounce of engine release into each cylinder once every day for three days. And then I'm going to come back in a week after it's soaked and I'm going to see what happened. Okay guys, here we are ten days later. Let this stuff soak in. If it doesn't work, they're going to give me my money back. Okay, so the instructions say that using an impact is the only thing you want to use to shake things loose. But before you do that, you want to place a rag over your spark plug holes to catch the engine release being blown out of the engine when you use it. So, I got my impact here and I'm going to try and shake things loose. Alright, she's on. So look at that, huh? There she is. There she is. Now, just gonna see. What? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. That's all out of there. Okay. I'm gonna put the plugs back in. And then I'm gonna crank the engine from the pull start. There we go. Okay, so we got our engine here. And before starting it, it's a good idea to have your regular gas oil mixture to lubricate your engine. Make sure your throttle's open. Give it four or five good pulls. There she is. Now we're ready to go out and catch some bass. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you more than other videos online helped me. And we'll see you next time.